Hello. So this is a very quick overview of the diathermy. So for the first question, we may have what is meant by diathermy and what modes are there. Diathermy describes a device that uses the heat generated by an electric current in order to cut, cauterize or ablate tissue. The two modes of diathermy include monopolar or bipolar diathermy. How does diathermy cause coagulation? Diathermy causes coagulation by use of an electrical current generating heat. It does this on the principle that there is a high current density at the tip of the diathermy electrode. The electrical current used in diathermy is in the region of half a million to one million hertz. There are potential dangers involved with the use of diathermy. For the patient, this can include burns, damage to deep underlying structures and interference with monitoring. And for the theatre and theatre staff, this can include the starting of a fire by the ignition of flammable materials, injury and burns to theatre staff and electric shock. So can diathermy be used in patients with pacemakers? The answer is yes, but only when absolutely necessary. And when the decision has been made for it to be used, bipolar diathermy should be decided on. So if we have a patient here with monopolar diathermy, we have a current that travels through the diathermy to the diathermy tip. We then have a pad on the patient. So the current to the patient flows through the diathermy and the current away from the patient flows through the diathermy pad. This means that the patient is used to complete the circuit. And this is monopolar. With bipolar diathermy, the tip of the diathermy is used to complete the circuit. So the current that flows to the patient and the current that flows away from the patient is all done through the diathermy tip. And finally, what is capacitive coupling? So capacitive coupling describes energy that is transferred through intact insulation to a conductor. And the significance of this can be interference to the ECG when the diathermy wire overlies an ECG wire. Thanks for watching.